Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be a couple minute preview to the Bakersfield Condors against the Stockton Heat as they look to take on the Stockton Heat after winning their first round series in a very good battle with Stuart Skinner being very sharp in net to be able to lead Bakersfield through that first round of that crazy best of three that the AHL is doing this year. And then going into the best of five. Obviously, Hamlin, Morality, Cracknell, Malone, Griffith, and Phillip all had very good first rounds to lead Bakersfield past the Abbotsford Canucks. The problem is now, just like with the Bridgeport Islanders and with the Rochester Americans, they're meeting a juggernaut in the Stockton Heat. And um, I don't think that really is going to be all too sexy for them uh, going forward as the Stockton Heat this season finished with a whopping only 16 regulation losses and just missed 100 points. They had 97. Uh, they are an absolutely loaded bunch, a loaded team. Now, Bakersfield does have good veterans. They play a good playoff style of hockey. The problem is going to be, are they going to be able to get enough offensive push to be able to beat Juggernaut team that has a fantastic offense? like the Stockton Heat, and is one of the best offenses in the league. That is, of course, led by the leading goal scorer, Matthew Phillips, but Jacob Pelletier, um, as the rookie, has been doing good. Uh, Golden's been doing good. Kirkland, uh, Phillip as well. So, uh, And then Byron Froze, who's been a veteran, has been solid. Connor Mackey as well. Uh, Pedersen, uh, Toilola has also been good. Connor Zari as a rookie. So they have a very good mix there. And obviously in cage, <clears throat> they're set with Dustin Wolf, who won the Dorn uh, goaltender of the year, and is obviously a very sharp goaltender there, having 33 wins, and was absolutely bonkers crazy this season, absolutely ridiculous in net. So they are very, very, very sharp, the Stockton Heat. The Condors, though, I do expect similar to how Rochester did today, and how, um, as well as Rochester the um, Bridgeport Islanders have been able to do, get off to the better starts against Charlotte and Utica. I kind of expect that to be the case early in game one against Stockton, just because all these teams with Charlotte, with Utica, and with Stockton are on the bye, so they haven't played in a minute. And then when it comes to these other teams, they have had the hockey in the last week, so they seem to be coming in sharper. Uh, both Rochester and Bridgeport went up 2 nothing in their games. Uh, as we speak, the one's tied right now and the other's 2-1, to one, but they did go up 2 nothing early, so I expect the early start to be leaning in favor of Bakersfield, as it did with the other teams that played, because the one unbenefit of a bye is having that long of a layoff. But I do expect the winner of this series to wrap up this video to be the Stockton Heat. So this has been the video preview to the Stockton Heat and Bakersfield Condors. Enjoy the series, everybody. Please subscribe down below. Rub above an easy-to-use widget to keep the channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June.